noticed uh, Reggie Reggie isn't here tonight. He's had to fly back to Montana to uh, to be with his mum. We're, we're, we're thinking about him to be with his family. We're thinking about him. We, we love you both so much, and we hope that you're doing OK, Reggie. We, we send all of our love for everybody here, and we hope that you're doing OK, and we hope you'll be back with us soon, but take as long as you need. But we, let's talk about the weekend, because we had a very big weekend. We had a huge weekend. So big, in fact, I just want to ask a question. Is Michael here? There he is! Right. This is how big a weekend I had. Right, so this guy, Michael, right? I go to watch the LA Galaxy game on Saturday night, right, Michael? Saturday yeah, night. Saturday night. I'm at the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm stood at the urinal. A man comes up and stands next to me, and he goes, I've traveled all the way from Texas to come and see your show on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I was like, well, you're certainly seeing quite a show now, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were, we were both being very good about it. We were maintaining eyes, walls forward. And, uh, and, and Michael said to me, did you guys go to Six Flags <laughs> yesterday? I'm not, that's right, right, Michael? Three weeks ago, you talked about it. So. Yeah, we talked about it three weeks ago. He said, did you go to Six Flags? I said, we went yesterday. He said, well, I'll be there on Monday, and I can't wait to hear all about it. <laughs> that's how much. Bless you, Michael. Bless you for coming. For anyone who doesn't know, Louis and I found out recently, about a month or so ago, that uh, Ian, you had never been on a roller coaster. I'd, I'd never been on a roller coaster my entire life. And what, we, why is this? I, I went immediately from too short to be on a roller coaster to too chubby to be on a roller coaster. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happened. And there I was no gap in between. It was bang, a bang. A seamless transition. Yeah. And then I lost a little bit of weight and I became adequately chubby to be on a roller coaster. Yes. And so you so took it upon yourself. So me and Louis couldn't believe it. We were like, we can't believe you haven't been on a roller coaster because Louis loves roller coasters more than any man I know. That's right. Well, I actually like being on roller coasters with people that don't like being on roller coasters. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's that actually the thing you enjoy the most. more than anything else. So, <laughs> on Friday, and this date got put in the diary, and we said, we're doing it. Me and Ian both thought it would get rescheduled. Louis refused to let that happen. <laughs> and we went to Six Flags, and... Well, I, I just want to emphasize that I truly thought this was not going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> you did, you did. It was one of those things where it was like, oh, we should go out to dinner. Like, yeah! And then yeah. you never go, and it's fine, and yeah. you're at home watching TV later that night. <laughs> <laughs> so this footage you're seeing now is Ian Carmel's first time ever on a roller coaster. Have a look. Okay, we are at this time. Make sure that you keep your hands, lights, feet inside at all times. started on an easy roller coaster. No. It went like 60 miles an hour right off the bat and then went up the loop, and the only time it slowed down was when we were at the top of the loop. Yes, this is true. But it felt a little bit like, oh, I could do with a snack, and then I ate an entire birthday cake. Like, yes. that's what it... <laughs> well, we went on a whole bunch of rides. We did, we did nine... We did nine rides back to back, and one of them we went on twice. This is a little recap of some of the stuff we did. So... <laughs> That's us on screen there. This is Ian when he sees what the Tatsu ride looks like. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is Riddler's Ridge, I think, that one. Then we went on the swings for a little palate cleanser. And then this is Goliath here, which is very high indeed. <laughs> Now, there was a moment, 
He did very well. There was a moment that everyone was having a great time, but then we realised we had done too many roller coasters <laughs> back to back because there was a lovely guide called Amy who yeah. took us round and we didn't ever have to wait in line. And, well, how were you feeling? You, s you need the lines, it turns out. <laughs> Everybody goes to an amusement park and they're like, oh, you gotta wait for an hour. You get to wait for an hour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get <Yeah>. to. <laughs> You're not supposed to go on that many roller coasters back to back yeah. to back to back to back. <laughs> so Ian then said, I'm gonna have to sit one out, right? You, you, you said, I can't, I can't do this, guys, I need a minute. Well, I knew there were two options. I could either go on the Riddler's ride with you and barf all over everybody. Yeah. Or I could sit one out, and I opted for the ladder. You did opt for the ladder, and, well, yeah, things took a little turn, have a look. Okay, we've just come off Riddler's Revenge, which is that and we've just turned the corner to discover this. I'm actually in, 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 in the process of putting all the weight back on so I legally can't go on roller coasters. <laughs> We also want to say, this probably looks, I imagine right now, towards the, some kind of paid integration with Six Flags Magic Magic Mountain. It wasn't. We went, we bought tickets ourselves. We want to thank Amy, the guide, who took us round. Uh, Louis will be back. <laughs> I'll probably come. I think, I think that's it for Carmel. I don't imagine you'll ever be there again. No, happy to wait in the car and then talk about it on the drive home. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll always have these amazing memories. Give us some free tickets or something now, Rob. Can we get into that? Yeah, we absolutely should now. That's a lot. I mean, Nick, you must be seething the that they haven't paid for that. I I'm not happy about it. No. <laughs> Are you really not? I'm happy that everybody had a good time and it was fun to watch, and that's about that's where I draw the line. <laughs> well, look, Michael's got what he wants, but America is still waiting on tenterhooks for their very need, which is to deliver. The news. <laughs> and the big news today is that Facebook is reeling today from the release of more than 10,000 pages of sensitive internal documents. The documents, which are being called the Facebook Papers, reveal frustration amongst Facebook staff about the company's direction. Yeah, not so great to have all your personal information stolen, is it, Facebook? <laughs> I feel good. More than 10,000 pages of leaked documents. Can you imagine having to read 10,000 pages to come to the conclusion that Facebook sucks? <laughs> These Facebook papers paint the company in an awful light, not enough to get people to stop using it, you know, or Instagram or WhatsApp, which are all part of the same parent company, but sure, it's still bad. <laughs> Uh, in a bombshell article in Rolling Stone magazine, it's now been revealed that organisers of the January 6th protest had dozens of planning meetings with members of Congress and Donald Trump's White House staff. Even worse, Rolling Stone only gave the January 6th insurrection a rating of two stars. <laughs> that's right, it was in Rolling Stone, yeah. Because that's, that's where I want to read about a plot to overthrow a democratic government in between stories about Adam Levine's newest tattoo and Slash's best top hat moments. <laughs> Moving on, did everybody see this? Over the weekend, the world's first high-speed self-driving race car event took place at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The cars, which raced separately, reached speeds of more than 150 miles per hour. Look at this. Right, so that's the Boston Dynamics dog starting the race. <laughs> and look at that. That car has no driver. Look. There it goes, whooshing around, and then you get a sort of slightly awkward high five. Yeah.
The official name of the race was the Downfall of Humanity 500. <laughs> I hope they also made those robots watch it, because that's... boring. <laughs> it was a successful event, though, it really was, at least until the winner celebrated by spraying champagne everywhere and then immediately short-circuited. <laughs> And we wanted to tell you all about this. A group of about 100 cocaine hippos, who are descendants of hippos that were owned by the late drug lord Pablo Escobar, have been recognised as legal persons in the United States. Apparently, <laughs> recognising these hippos as people is an important step in trying to save the animals from Colombian authorities. Cocaine hippos. <laughs> I actually saw cocaine hippos open for uh, Wilco at the Hollywood Bowl in 2015. <laughs> Bloody good, actually. Yeah, they were actually better than Wilco. It was one of them. The gig. <laughs> Cocaine hippos. <laughs> the hippos, uh, obviously, the hippos were, were very grateful for the ruling. I'm kidding. They're hippos. They couldn't give <laughs> <laughs> Cocaine hippos. They're like regular hippos, is it? except you just cannot get them off the phone. <laughs> yeah, no, that is amazing. Yeah, no, you... You, you totally start your own business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, listen, I've got work in the morning. Yeah, no, okay, yeah, tell me another story about your dad. <laughs> <laughs> and this was interesting. According to a new study, the Scottish accent has been voted the sexiest accent in the United Kingdom. I get it. Who doesn't like to be asked, do you fancy going back to my place for a wee bit of lumpy pumpy? <laughs> yeah, come on. I don't even like that, you fat bastard. <laughs> don't... I used to have a boss that well, I used to work at a little sort of supermarket and he used to go to me, have I done this before on the show, have I said this? Oh, <laughs> Give me a break, all right? It's okay, you can say it again. No, I won't. It's so fun. No. According to the same study, and this is true, the least attractive accents in the United Kingdom were Scouser, Cockney, Birmingham, Leeds, and this felt unnecessarily specific, James Corden. <laughs> Susan, oh, you're a good question for this. Susan, what do you consider a, a sexy accent? I think French is very nice. Oh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Louis just went... What's wrong with that? That's a good, that's a good French. Well, it's very... I couldn't quite tell what you were doing there. Oh. <laughs> Le ho he ho <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, not Birmingham. Not Everyone, Birmingham. Yeah. Yeah. I think I love you. <laughs> but they don't know what a Birmingham is. Yeah, I know. I'm, doing, I'm talking to you. That's why. Well, don't. Let's... Just me and you. Well, don't. I don't. You can't be just you me and you. You asked me the question. I didn't. I asked... I didn't. I actually asked Susan a question. I never actually asked you the question. <laughs> roll it back. Then... Roll it back. See if I ever no, oh, asked yeah, Louis the question. I never back. asked Louis the question. Yes, you, you assumed the question. <laughs> no. I actually spoke to Susan, no, and you, you looked at me with disdain no, no. at my... ho 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 Yeah, were well, you? And... And you, you, you assumed like I'd ask you the... We got the clip. Susan, what do you consider a sexy accent? I think French is very nice. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Louis just went... What's wrong with that? That's a good, that's a good French. Well, it's very... I couldn't quite tell what you were doing there. Oh. <laughs> Le ho he ho <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Yeah, not Birmingham. Not Everyone, Birmingham. Yeah. Yeah. I think I love you. Never ask the question. It was implied. Arguably, you've it sucked the air out of the room. You've sucked the air out of the room. <laughs> You're on a real tear there. I don't know what Thanks Michael... I don't know what Michael just said to his guests because of the mask, but my hunch is he leaned in and went, this is so much better with an edit. <laughs> and that's the news. We'll be right back, everybody.